Hello everyone, so we will continue over the AWS data engineering playlist part. Okay, so we are going to start with the EC2 services. There are lots of services which is available in AWS space. But from the data engineer perspective, what are the services which we should know that actually we will try to cover each and every services. Okay, so we are going to start with the EC2 services. Let us try to understand what is the EC2 services. Okay, so EC2 is nothing but a, it is a compute services. It is a compute services okay so let me tell you one example so suppose generally we go for any suppose you are going to buy any laptop so what are the things generally you look for we look for the it should have a good cpu it should have a good memory it should also have a more hard disk capacity and all right right this all the things generally we look right so in a in a aws space in a cloud space suppose you want to create any kind of the vm we call it as a VM that is nothing but a virtual machine right virtual machine okay now if you have a lots of the data if you have a big data or lots lots of the big data or lots of data okay data now you have to process this all the data so for that you require a good memory power you require a good CPU you require a good hard disk capacity and all right so this all the things actually we can handle with the help of the EC2 services okay so we will try to create one vm machine we will try to see how actually you can select any hard disk memory cpu core powers and all everything we will see when I mean, we'll do a practical okay now whenever you are going to create any kind of the virtual machine right so you will generally get to see m large in a aws space m large c large okay x large okay so this is nothing but uh, this is based on the memory power if you are looking for good memory power you will generally go for the m large m x large there are so many things you will get to see and based on this uh, whatever the machine you are creating you will be get charge okay similarly we have a c large we have x large and different kind of the machine okay so whenever you want to create any kind of the machine services we generally go for the ec2 services okay so let us try to open my AWS account and let us try to create one machine okay whenever you will open uh, AWS account you will it, this will look like this okay so what we have to do we are going to if you will see this is the search option so what we are going to do we are going to search for the EC2 so just search for the EC2 click here okay so here you will get to see this particular window okay now what we are going to do we are going to create a or we are going to launch an instance so we generally call it as a instance okay whenever you are creating any kind of the uh, whenever you are launching any kind of the vm machines and all we generally call it as a instance so what we have to do we have to create a launch instance so just click on the launch instance okay once you will click here it will first ask a the name so what is the name we, what we are going to do we are going to create a one windows machine so we will gen we generally will give uh, any kind of the name okay now what actually we have to do so if you will see after that we have uh, we have to select the os image so there are so many images which is available in a aws space suppose you want to create a windows machine so you can see windows machine suppose you want to create a ubuntu machines aws linux red hat all the kind of the machine you can launch and this is the pre-configured machines which is available now what we are going to see in this particular video we are going to see how actually we can launch a window so i will select the windows here okay now once i have selected this windows right if you will see here we have to click here so there are so many windows machines which is available okay and uh, what we have to do we only have to select the free tier whenever you are doing a practice okay so we are going to select the free tier eligible machines only and that only we are going to launch you can see windows server 2019 2022 and uh, there are different different windows machines which is available and that is free so we will select that only okay there are uh, whatever the other machines like where actually the free tier is not written they are they all are paid so make sure you only will launch the free tier eligible machines only okay so i have selected the free tier eligible windows server 2022 okay now after that what we have to do 
after that you can see like the instance type okay now here what i am getting i am getting one cpu one gb memory this is the thing i am getting but this is the free tier so uh, no cost will be here but if you will select the other you will get charge like if you want to increase the cpu or memory you have a diff you can select that but for that you have to uh, for that you will get charge because you can see like here 24x large the 192 gb memory the, like that we have a different different but we are going with the free tire only okay for learning purpose so i have selected that okay the instance type we have selected okay after that the key pair so make sure you remember this so what we are going to do we are going to create a new pair key pair name so i am giving name as a windows because this will be helpful whenever you uh, whenever you will log in with your uh, windows machine okay so i selected the uh, windows and i actually i have downloaded it okay and after that what we have to do uh, now after that it comes into the vpc the firehouse create security network as of now i am selecting the anywhere all the traffic we can because uh, we are going we are testing only but uh, private ip and private security group we have to select whenever we work in a production environment okay now rest is like if you want to configure the storage and all you if you want to increase that you can do it but we are going with the by default option now what we have to do and how many machine actually you want to launch if you want to launch the five machine you can give here the number of instance we are going with the only one machine we are going to launch so we'll select that and after that we have to click on the launch instance okay now it's initiated now you can see it is success now if you want to see the log what we will do we will click on the instances and we'll try to go so this is the particular windows name we have given now instance test is pending once it will complete then only you will get to see okay it should be complete then only we will be able to log in in our windows machine whatever we have created okay now you can see the instance status t2 macro this one we have selected availability zone like us is only we have selected so all the configuration whatever we have done right you can see here okay so this is a windows machine so here generally by default we will get a public ip okay so we have a now you can see this running states right now let me show you how actually you can log in so if i select this machine you will get to see public ip and the private ip so what generally happen whenever you will restart whenever you will restart your machine right your public ip will be changed but your private ip will not be changed okay so what actually happen the whenever you will restart the public ip will be changed so whenever you don't want to change your public ip right so in that case we generally create a elastic ip so that actually you have to remember it okay now what actually we'll do we'll try to launch it so i selected this windows go to the action okay and go to the state you can see that if you want to stop reboot terminate you can do from here now what we are going to do we are going to connect it so i will select the connect so you can see here we are getting the three option i will go with the rdp client and uh, what actually we'll do here we have option like the download remote desktop files so i will download that i'll and now what actually i will do i will double click here okay i'll double click here and i will try to launch this connect now it will ask for the username and the password okay so username it is the administrator so it is taking by default for the password what we will do we will click on the get password okay so whatever the uh, key pair we have downloaded right so for that we have to select that so i will select that this one we have downloaded right while creating we will click on the decrypt password and this is the password we got it now let's launch once again click on the download remote desktop file open it it will come it will ask for the username username in administrator the password we have decrypted right so i'll select that click on the okay click on the yes now you can see we are successfully able to launch our windows machine so it is launching the windows machine now okay based on the configuration 
now you will get to see uh, this is the particular windows machine which we have launched and if you want to launch multiple machine you can launch like this only okay we will also see how actually we can launch the uh, linux machine ubuntu and all also but uh, i think from the windows machine and from the ec2 services i think today we have understand like how actually we can connect with our windows machine and what is the ec2 services and all right let's wait it to be come up now you can see right uh, this is the windows machine it is coming now okay so what i will do i will try to disconnect it okay so yeah that's it in this video thank you